Hello, it's Randy Rhodes. Here's a clip from our show and go to randyrhodes.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast. Mary had a little man, man, man. The fault. We believe that all men are created to the magnificent mosaic that is America. From radio beacon to radio beacon. Change has come to America. Believe me. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's a figment of your imagination. Randy Rhodes Show. Turn up your mind. Here's Gretchen Whitmer earlier today. Earlier today, Attorney General Dana Nessel was joined by officials from the Department of Justice and the FBI to announce state and federal charges against 13 members of two militia groups who were preparing to kidnap and possibly kill me. Oh, my God. When I put my hand on the Bible and took the oath of office 22 months ago. I knew this job would be hard, but I'll be honest, I never could have imagined anything like this. Just last week, the President of the United States stood before the American people and refused to condemn white supremacists and hate groups like these two Michigan militia groups. Stand back and stand by, he told them. Stand back and stand by. Hate groups heard the president's words not as a rebuke, but as a rallying cry, as a call to action. When our leaders speak, their words matter. They carry weight. When our leaders meet with, encourage, or fraternize with domestic terrorists, they legitimize their actions, and they are complicit. When they stoke and contribute to hate speech, They are complicit. Let me say this loud and clear. Hatred, bigotry, and violence have no place in the great state of Michigan. If you break the law or conspire to commit heinous acts of violence against anyone, we will find you, we will hold you accountable, and we will bring you to justice. Poor Gretchen Whitmer. I mean, she's so she, she reminds me of Superwoman. She really does. She's she's just an amazing uh, governor. She has met the challenge. I mean, she got elected governor, was sworn in, and suddenly a pandemic where the president is singling her out, uh, telling people in militias to go liberate the state and take it away from Gretchen Whitmer. They take him seriously. They start to plot and plan to kidnap her, kill her, and or try her in some kangaroo court uh, and put her on trial in front of their peers charge her with treason and when the police come they were going to kill the police too blue lives matter you know blue lives i mean and, and i have to tell you how vile vile this administration is jason miller not the not the not the the, the other white supremacist you know stephen miller He's a self-loathing Jew, too. But Stephen Miller has COVID, so Jason Miller was probably next on the list to go out and talk to the press, and they decided that the proper response to the FBI infiltrating two Michigan militias, being charged with state charges, federal charges, with charges that could put them in jail for the rest of their lives, that their position on this is... It's Gretchen Whitmer's fault. No, I'm serious. They blamed Gretchen Whitmer. They have blamed the victim of a plot to kidnap her and kill her for her own targeting. These are some pretty shameful comments here from Governor Whitmer. Oh, come. I mean, how we could take how because how you can go from a moment of unity to attacking President Trump, I thought was just completely ridiculous. I mean, if we want to talk about hatred, uh, then Governor Whitmer, go look in the mirror. I mean, the fact that she wakes up every day with such hatred in her heart towards President Trump. I mean, President Trump is the one out there condemning uh, these radical groups, whether they be on the right or they be on the left. Dude. Your soul is gone. You have moved over to the dark side. And, and, and you know, this pious uh, faux religiosity and this faux, you know, uh, holier than now thing they got going on when all they want to do is see people dead. All they want to do is celebrate death, 
saying, okay, we got 212,420 dead Americans in the last six months, uh, but we, we, we think every life is precious. You, you better give up on this pro-life thing that you got going on there. I mean, uh, this was really sick. Gretchen Whitmer needs to look in the mirror because she wakes up with hatred in her heart. She doesn't wake up with hatred in her heart. The president pitted her, singled her out to not receive PPE, masks, gloves, testing supplies. Does anybody remember that we had a shortage of swabs? We had a shortage of reagents. We had a shortage of uh, pipettes. We had a shortage of gloves. We had a shortage of that. And Donald Trump was accusing uh, governors, accusing governors of moving these items out the back door. They were criminals. They were actually taking all of this PPE that he imagined he had sent them, and they were pushing it in the front door and then selling it out the back door like a scene in Goodfellas. Don't buy anything nice. Do you remember him doing that? Does everybody remember that he was telling everybody that he was that, 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 that they were moving all of these things? They had to ask Fauci, what about this claim the president is making that, that these things are moving out the back door? The president said something that got a lot of people's attention, that hospitals that normally order 20, 30,000 masks were having to order 200, 300,000, and then suggested they're walking out the back door. What evidence have you seen that these masks may be walking out the back door? You know, I have not looked at that carefully, so I really can't <laughs> comment. I mean, it could be that there are many more patients there that need them, and they're actually not walking out the door. They're actually being utilized. I don't know. I and mean, when that discussion came yesterday, I really didn't know what was going on. So I'll have to check that out later and find out what they were talking about. Ever the diplomat, he walked right down this bad road with the president of the United States. And as brilliant as he is and as diplomatic as he's tried to be, um, here we are. I guess that didn't work. I guess it didn't work. Uh, it is really an amazing thing. Now, Jamie Raskin asked Bill Barr, <laughs> our attorney general, months ago about this Liberate Michigan crap and why was Trump all about it. Liberate Michigan, liberate Virginia. On April 17th, he retweeted the slogans of right-wing protesters that are blocking access to hospitals and trying to overthrow public health orders in those states. Mm. And you snapped attention on April 27th. You designated a prosecutor to try to bring down those very public health orders in Michigan and Virginia. Two days later, armed right-wing protesters and white supremacists disrupted the Michigan legislature, leveling death threats against Governor Whitmer, confronting police, taunting lawmakers, and forcing the legislature to shut down as they brandished their long guns and shouted in the faces of police officers. But you didn't send in a secret paramilitary police force on horseback to unleash tear gas, pepper spray, billy clubs, and rubber bu bullets against these protesters storming the state capitol in Michigan. No, you embraced their cause by joining litigation against the governors of Michigan and Virginia. Now, of course, your side lost your motions for emergency injunctions, but you got to spread Trump's message that it was time to call off the stay-at-home orders, the masking and social distancing. It's bizarre, and, and it's so provable, and everybody wonders, why do I collect all these videotapes? Why do I collect all these sound bites? Why do I? Because these are real things that the president is agitating to have happen in this country. Deprive people on the front lines of masks, say that they're just there's too many being ordered and I can't I, I'm not a clerk and I don't want and and Jared Kushner, this is our stockpile. This isn't their stockpile. Let them go out and get their and then when they do, stealing their supplies off tarmax and telling militia guys to go stand in front of hospitals. Go stand in front of hospitals. Go to the Capitol. Liberate your state. Open it. Kidnap. Kill the governor. And they do it. 
go to randyroads.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast.